Hello, welcome to Fogwing Learning Center. Today, we will be discussing about what is corrective maintenance. Let's jump right into it. In the high-pressure world of manufacturing, equipment breakdowns are an unwelcome visitor. They disrupt production schedules, lead to lost revenue, and can potentially compromise safety. Corrective maintenance refers to the tasks performed to identify, isolate, and repair such fault in equipment or a system after it has already malfunctioned. The primary goal is to restore the equipment to working order as quickly as possible to minimize downtime and production losses. Corrective maintenance process. We've established that corrective maintenance involves fixing equipment after a malfunction. But what does this process actually entail? Here's a closer look at the key stages. Identifying the problem. The first step is recognizing that something's wrong. Equipment failure can manifest in various ways, some more subtle than others. Here are some red flags to watch out for. Complete shutdown. This is the most obvious sign, where the equipment simply ceases to function. Decreased performance. A drop in efficiency, output, or processing speed can indicate a brewing issue. Abnormal noises or vibrations. Unusual sounds or excessive vibrations are often telltale signs of malfunctioning components. Warning lights or error codes. Modern equipment often comes equipped with warning systems that alert operators to potential problems. Once a problem is identified, clear and accurate communication is crucial. Technicians need a detailed description of the malfunction, including any error codes displayed, unusual sounds, or observed changes in performance. Troubleshooting. With the problem identified, it's time for some investigative work. Technicians use their expertise and a toolbox of troubleshooting techniques to isolate the root cause of the malfunction. This might involve Analyzing error codes. Modern equipment often provides error codes that point toward specific component failures or malfunctions. Physical inspection. A visual examination of the equipment can reveal signs of wear, damage, or leaks that might be causing the issue. Diagnostic tests. Running diagnostic software or specialized tests can provide valuable insights into equipment health and pinpoint the source of the problem. Repair and replacement. Based on the identified cause, technicians can determine the most appropriate course of action. Repairs might involve fixing faulty components. This could range from replacing a simple fuse to soldering a circuit board, depending on the nature of the fault. Replacing worn out parts. Regular wear and tear takes a toll on equipment. Replacing worn-out bearings, belts, or filters can restore functionality. Adjustments and calibration. Sometimes, a simple adjustment or recalibration can resolve the issue, ensuring the equipment operates within optimal parameters. Verification and documentation. Getting the equipment back up and running isn't the finish line. Following repairs, technicians perform a final verification to ensure the equipment functions correctly under normal operating conditions. Documentation is essential. This includes details of the problem identified, troubleshooting steps taken, repairs performed, and any replacement parts used. This valuable data serves multiple purposes. Provides a historical record for future reference, aiding in future troubleshooting and repair efforts. Offers insights for improving preventive maintenance strategies to prevent similar breakdowns from recurring. Assists with warranty claims if necessary. We hope this information has been useful. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more details, visit our website, fogwing.io. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then take care.